Of all the rhododendrons and azaleas that are planted in Illinois, and in particular probably the northern half of Illinois, PJM rhododendron is probably the most popular. It has that beautiful, lovely lavender flower when it's in full bloom, but in the past few days, uh, the blooms have faded and it's now time to prune it if you're going to. Uh, the idea is to maintain a general informal shape of most of our rhododendrons and azaleas and you would be pruning back to another growing point as you would any other shrub. One of the reasons or the reason you prune after they bloom is because they'll spend the rest of the year making next year's flower buds on the tips of the new growth they produce. So you want to prune them now so that you're not you're not removing any of the uh, potential bloom for next season. And in this particular PGM rhododendron right here, there's just about four branches that need to come off to bring the plant down in size to make it look a little bit more uniform. I'm going to reach in here and find a growing point to prune it back to, and that's where I'll make the cut. You can see I've removed an entire branch I just haven't chopped it off indiscriminately. I've removed a tire branch down to another growing point. You see the plant still looks nice and full here, and that's what I'll be doing. I'll take another branch off over here the same way, removing down to another growing point. Gardeners often hear about pruning back to a growing point. A growing point is another sp spot on the branch where you have growth that resumes. So I'm going to prune off this small branch here to this growing point leaving about a quarter inch stub, just like that. Now this growth, the food that comes up through that branch will now run into this growing point naturally and the plant will continue to grow in a normal fashion.